29 cars. 29 visions of automotive perfection. 29 objects of unmatched beauty. There is no other collection like it in the world. And they all belong to one man. Ralph Lauren. In the world of fashion, the name Lauren is synonymous with timeless elegance. An inspired vision that has come to represent an authentic American style. And in Ralph Lauren's world, inspiration often comes from the most unlikely places. In his world, the curve of a fender becomes the curve of a dress. The form of a windshield meets the function of elegant eyewear. And the leather of a seat meets the leather of a jacket. For the man that has brought us the brand Polo, has also assembled one of the greatest car collections ever. His clothing may be legendary, but his automobile collection, rarely seen by the public, has pushed cars to a new level. Inspiring an exhibition in a museum of fine art, where the question, are cars art, will be put to the test. This is the car collection of Ralph Lauren, the pinnacle of speed, style, and beauty in automotive design. I never thought of myself as a collector. I was too passionate to be a collector. I've been inspired by cars, I've been inspired by details on cars, I've been inspired by dashboards, I've been inspired by the shapes. Ralph Lauren's car collection is a personal passion. More than 25 years in the making. The greatest names in automotive history are all here. The brashness of Bentley. The elegance of Bugatti. Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, Porsche, Mercedes, and Jaguar. It's like no other car collection in the world. All hand-built. Some of them only one of a kind. Others with unmatched racing pedigree. Like Ralph Lauren, they are classic, timeless. Each with its own story to tell. What makes Ralph's collection unusual, or I'd probably use the word special, is a couple of things. First of all, he focuses a good portion of it on the best. This is really amongst the best of the best. Also, the focus on aesthetics. Everything in here is beautiful or interesting. There are no ugly cars in the collection. Ralph Lauren's collection is absolutely one of the best that you will see, largely because it demonstrates the personal taste of a true connoisseur. It is no surprise that Lauren, one of the great American designers, would be drawn to some of the greatest names in automotive design. Men like Enzo Ferrari, a race car driver turned manufacturer, whose creations have become the gold standard of Italian sports cars. Ettore Bugatti, a designer born into a family of talented artists who poured the inspiration of a great master into each of his works. And W.O. Bentley, whose powerful, boisterous cars dominated racing in the 1920s. Ralph Lauren has such an aesthetic sense Essentially, his business is based upon his own aesthetic sense. And that's demonstrated absolutely by not just the quality of the cars that he's chosen, the cars that interest him, but the manner in which they're presented, the way in which they've been restored, and the sheer overall aesthetic of them as a whole. It is an overall aesthetic that serves as a constant source of inspiration for Ralph Lauren's design and his advertising. 
I'll never forget shooting our women's collection campaign. The clothes were very sleek and had an architecture to them not unlike his cars. When you're laying out an advertising campaign, Ralph always wanted a hook, some kind of contradiction. I saw the scoops, and there was a spirit, there was a connection between this red cape that this girl was wearing and the cars. They were very similar in their excitement of the spirit of the folds and the silk and the folds and the metal in terms of the design of the Ferrari. The marriage of an elegant red cape with the sexy curves of cars created a campaign like few others. A campaign born out of a part of Ralph Lauren's car collection that runs deep. 14 cars. Fiery. Sexy. Italian. Ferrari. Alone. They are some of the most beautiful cars ever built. Together, they are an overwhelming vision of automotive elegance. Some people are surprised to find he has only 14 Ferraris because they'll know some guy that has 25 Ferraris. And I just said, well, that's, that's kind of nutty because that's like saying I have 25 $1 bills when Ralph has 14 $100 bills. That's the difference. It's you can either get the ordinary or you can get the best. This is the best. Nearly every year between 1954 and 1973, a golden age in Ferrari racing is represented. Each car with a story to tell. The 1958 Ferrari 250 Testarossa is a shape born out of the studio of Italian Sergio Scaglietti, who, like Ralph Lauren, never studied design, instead learning his craft in a small automotive repair shop. Rather than putting pen to paper, Scaglietti would design by eye. Guided by the elements of good taste, aerodynamics, style, and function, all of which came together in a design some consider his masterpiece. The car put the word Testarossa, redhead, on everyone's tongue and was the parent of great things to come. Ralph Lauren's 1961 Ferrari 250 TR61 is one of only two ever built and helped make the Testarossa a racing legend. Less than two months after being completed, the car faced its first challenge, the grueling 12-hour race at Sebring International Raceway in Florida, where it ran away to victory. The car caught the eye of a rich young Italian, Count Giovanni Volpi di Misurata. Count Giovanni Volpi di Misurata, what a wonderful name for a young 21-year-old blade. You imagine, he must have been absolutely the king of the kids then. The brash count bought the car with a single goal, to make it faster and take it back to Sebring again. He went back to Sebring in 1962 with this Testarossa, and it won the race again, beating Ferrari's team cars in the process. What makes that interesting is very, very rarely does a car win the same race two years in a row. This is one of those rare cars. What greater piece of customer service could you provide than that? It can't be bad, can it? You know, you buy a car from the factory and they screw things up and you come through and beat them. I think that's pretty good. Ralph Lauren's Ferraris are some of the finest ever built by the manufacturer. Yet for Lauren, they represent something more. Those cars were done as race cars. They were not done as cars to just sell beautiful cars in a showroom. They were race cars. They built engines and then they wrapped those engines with metal. And the fact that they had a function first is what was so appealing to me. The Museum of Fine Arts, Boston, Massachusetts home to some of the greatest artwork and exhibitions in America. Preparations are underway for a new installation, an exhibit of a different sort. Joining the legendary icons of the art world is a new list of names. Jaguar, Porsche, 
Bentley, Mercedes. The exhibit is called